the last thing I need to do is drop my goddamn phone. Why is Gamora? So it's a weird time, isn't it? Um, I think this is like the third week that we've personally been in quarantine. Um, I think it was about March 15th or so that my husband and I decided that we were going to, you know, stay home and just go out for, you know, the necessities. I think the only thing we've gone out for, well, I haven't even gone out for the groceries. He's done that himself. Thank God. There's a brewery nearby who's been doing to-go can sales. And we've gone out a couple of times just to, you know, support local businesses during this time and also beer, because what else am I supposed to do at like every hour of the day right now? It's been three weeks. And during those three weeks, I kind of was letting myself do whatever the hell I wanted to. So I baked bread. I made some cookies. Um, I went on a Skype call and everything with some friends and we watched a couple movies. Not really kicking myself for not crafting and not getting things done. That being said, I'm bored. <laughs> I think the biggest struggle for me right now is the absence of a routine. And as weird as it sounds, I just thrive on having a routine. It's been a struggle because a lot of my days have kind of just melded together. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same and you can't really, if you're working from home, it's kind of like your workday never ends. Anyways, this is a really incredibly long introduction that did not need to happen to say that I'm going to try something this month and we'll see if it works. We'll see if I can keep up with it. But I have some costumes where I bought a lot of supplies for them and I never did anything. Um, this kind of happened with the Gamora costume from the comic books. It's kind of that weird, like, you know, white armor and I really, really like it. And I bought a lot of supplies for it. I even have the wig, I have face paint for it. Um, I just don't have the motivation to do it. So that brings me to like what I'm going to be doing in April. Finish Gamora and vlog the entire process. And I'm going to try and vlog every single day. We'll see. And yeah, that's kind of what um, I'm thinking about doing this month. So today, I think I'm going to actually start by cleaning up my area. It is a hot mess. I'm going to put the camera over here. Come along while I clean my room. Ooh. All right, well, she's all nice and clean and ready for me to do stuff to her. Uh, that sounded wrong. I haven't forgotten about you. I promise I'll paint you. The armor or helmet. Not the one glue bottle next to it. So here are the first initial things I've got pulled out for my Gomorra builds. These, I believe these were initially for a Captain Marvel build, and I kind of decided I'm not going to do that. Um, so this right here is a black fabric from Yaya Han cosplay, I believe. Same thing here. This is like a little hexagonal thingy, spacey fabric from Yaya Han. Um, I got, again, I got these a long time ago. Uh, God, maybe last year. <laughs> um, I got this uh, foam from SKS Props. It's six millimeter foam, I believe. And I've got four rolls of this and I've got this big tub of FOMO stuff. This is foam clay. I have been using a heck of a lot of this on my Edelgard prop that I have. Um, actually, let me pull it out and I'll show you. This is my Edelgard prop and as you can see, it's mostly made out of insulation foam. And what I've been doing is I've been taking this foam clay and covering it over the insulation foam so the um, insulation foam isn't as brittle and it holds up a lot better. So it's just a cheaper alternative for me than Warbla and I have it on hand and it's been working pretty good. Oh, and of course I've got the, uh, you know, odd piece of Warbla that I don't know what the heck I would use this for, but I've got it. Um, I have also have a box full of um, warble scraps that I'm hoping to be able to use for this too. So now I just got to figure out what the heck I want to start on first. So, yeah. So what I think I'm going to work on first are her gauntlets, her forearms. I actually made these before and I hated how they came out. And I think that was the reason why I stopped making Gamora at the time. But anyways, um, I'm going to make her gauntlets and they look like this. They're pretty straightforward design. I don't think it should take me too long to pattern them and cut them out of some foam and if I can at least get the base of those done that'd be pretty cool.
Correct. So I got it all taped up and I'm going to put some contact cement here. And once that's all set up, I'm actually going to then go in and cut out the little area here that is on her actual gauntlet. I, I find that a lot easier to do than to actually make the weird, goofy pattern that's going on because I evidently couldn't do it last time and that's why I quit working on this. So we're going to do that. All right, there they are all glued up and ready to wear. So what I'm going to do now is actually just put this, put them both on and on this, ow, sorry, <laughs> on this area, I'm going to cut out or I'm going to trace the cutout area that I'm going to need to make them look more like Gamora. So I'm going to do that now. Sorry for shaking the camera all the time because I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm back from having a delicious quesadilla, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pattern those little stripes that go on both of the gauntlets and uh, cut those out of foam. I just hit the light thinking that it was going to turn off the camera. Ugh. There they are all cut up and what I'm going to do now is take these outside to the garage and dremel these sides down and I'm going to glue them onto the gauntlets. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits today because my camera keeps dying and I just don't feel like messing around with the battery anymore. But I was able to get both of the gauntlets done, get all the little doohickeys on there, and they look nice and pretty. And I basically can I basically can Plasti Dip these whenever I want. I just don't feel like doing it right now because I'm lazy and I would really like to play some Animal Crossing right now. I hope that these videos, well, not these, but this video it was interesting in some way or at least was able to take your mind off of everything that's going on in the world for a little bit. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do with these like vlogs, like just kind of whenever I'm working on stuff, it kind of makes me forget about what's going on and I'm not stressing out about things that I can't do anything about. Hopefully I will see you here tomorrow and I, you know, take care, make sure you're washing your hands and make sure you're staying inside. Mm -hmm.